This store right behind me may be raising their prices once again. Yes, the Dollar Tree. We're going to talk about that and more today on this report. Hey, bulls and bears. We are back, back with another dose of economic reality. It is Friday, May 26th, 2023. We're coming up on a nice three-day weekend here, Memorial Day weekend. I hope many of you out there have a three-day weekend like I have and some time off. Um, if not, I hope you're making good money. I hope you're making enough money to keep up with this uh, insane cost of living that doesn't seem to be coming down very much. And um, it's interesting that the Fed is doing smaller rate hikes now than they were, even though inflation really hasn't come down for most people, uh, for most things, for most goods and services. Uh, inflation is still very, very uh, problematic for so many people. Just look at the levels of debt that people are running up on their credit cards and it's just a matter of time before this whole thing comes crashing down. It's already starting to decline as far as the overall economy, but when consumers get tapped out, consumers are the backbone of the economy. As most people know, it's about 70% consumer spending uh, is the driver of the economy. So as consumers get further and further into debt, as the cost of living remains sticky, that's the Fed, Fed term, not mine, sticky, um, People are going to have a more difficult time. And it shows in our next news report. Dollar Tree, unbelievable, right? Well, it may not be unbelievable, but Dollar Tree is thinking about raising prices once again. Let's put up this article here. Dollar Tree may be raising prices due to, due to crime. Yes, crime. Dollar Tree CFO Jeff Davis is out there saying they're taking, quote, all the appropriate steps to mitigate theft. Uh, let's get into this here. We told all of you here that uh, this is a big problem when the economy is not doing good. And not just that, when the cost of living is too high for most people, theft increases, right? It's a no brainer. Uh, so no surprise here. But the Dollar Tree already raised their price from a dollar to a dollar 25. Was that a year, year and a half ago? Uh, that was a big shock to a lot of people because a lot of people shopping at Dollar Tree are kind of on a small budget to begin with. Um, actually, you don't have to be in a small budget to shop there. Actually, see this bookshelf back here? There may be something back here from the Dollar Tree. Shh, don't tell anybody. Uh, economic YouTubers are not supposed to admit they shop at the Dollar Tree. But I like, I like a good bargain, just like everybody else. While speaking to analysts and investors on Thursday, the CEO, Jeff Davis, said Dollar Tree expects to, quote, improve our performance on shrink through defensive merchandising efforts let me go back here performance on shrink shrink is a nice way of saying theft um through defensive merchandising hmm, how do you do defensive merchandising to prevent theft how's about bigger security guards that that's a good defensive uh strategy for theft um real estate optimization and what that means is they're going to have probably closing down these stores that are in bad areas that see a lot of theft. I think that's what real estate optimization means. Also could mean lower price leases. But if you're paying a low price lease or have a great deal on a lease, it's likely not in the best neighborhood. So I'll leave that up to these Dollar Tree people to figure out. Uh, and higher prices to compensate for areas of systemically higher shrink. There's that word again, shrink, higher theft. So you are going to be paying for the people that are stealing stuff. Isn't that how society is uh, is working here in our, um, you know, this uh, shared society where we all share uh, the cost of things, you pay for things that other people uh, can't pay for, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Now, also in this same uh, conference, the CEO chimed in. Here's what he had to say, quote, I do think if we are being realistic here, this consumable shift, and he's talking about more people buying consumables, basically more people buying things to eat at the Dollar Tree. Uh, if we're being realistic here, this consumable shift and shrink impact are transitory, unquote. Oh no, he said transitory. Uh, I don't believe it. Here's what he's saying. I do not believe we're going to be living with them forever, and that is all accurate to what we're doing, unquote. So he's basically saying their strategy of real estate uh, optimization and loss mitigation is going to um, reduce the shrink, aka people stealing stuff. Now let's talk about the numbers here from 
one quarter to the next. So from the uh, fourth quarter of 2022 to the first quarter here of 2023, uh, net income for the three month period went from 536 million to 299 million, a plunge of 44%. Wow. So that is some big uh, shift there in the numbers. How much of that was attributed to theft and how much of that was attributed to just less people buying stuff? You would think the Dollar Tree, Dollar 25 tree would be the place that people would be going to more uh, with this high cost of living and uh, sticky situation that we're in. Still on the topic of retail, another recent article here, Kohl's, Foot Locker, Target, and Walmart say brazen retail theft is worsening. CEOs of some of these retailers issued warnings that brazen theft is getting even worse. No surprise to anyone here. Yes, it's going to get worse because the cost of living is not coming down. Uh, the interest rate, uh, Fed funds rate increases are not uh, helping many people with the cost of living, that should be obvious, but yet they're slowing down the rate hikes. Also, another sign of pain for retailers, this one's out of the Wall Street Journal, retailers clamp down on returns. Uh, merchants shorten return windows. So you may have had 30 days to return something, they're gonna, who knows, knock it down to 15 days. If you had 14 days, they're gonna knock it down to seven. Um, increase mail fees and offer discounts to discourage returns. So on the fees, actually, I had to pay a fee to um, return an item through Amazon. I don't think I've ever had to do that before. Just uh, last week, I had to pay a restocking fee, return fee. I'm not sure what they call it, but it was a fee that I don't remember paying before with Amazon. And the last part of it here, offer discounts to discourage returns. So you go to return something, they're going to offer you 50% back. You keep the item. And that way they don't have to pay somebody to restock it and put something on the shelf that's been opened or return it to the factory. Uh, you know, that whole chain of uh, events that happens when you return something, they're going to try to give you some money to um, clamp down on that. Uh, next, still on the topic of retail, let's talk about um, Lowe's. This is out of CNBC. Lowe's cuts full year sales forecast even as it tops earnings and revenue estimates. So here's the thing. They can come up with a number, they can say this is the expected number. And then if the actual number beats that, that's gonna be looked at as a positive thing, that's a positive headline. In fact, the stock is actually up 2% on that news, but you get into the numbers and here's where it's not looking quite so rosy. Take a listen. Lowe's net income for the three month period, and this is year over year, most recent three months, 2.26 billion, uh, the same Three month period a year ago, the year over year quarterly number uh, last year was 2.33 billion. So they're down compared to last year, but yet they set this expectation out there um, artificially low, in my opinion. That way, whatever the number was, was going to be reported as a positive thing. But if you look into it, uh, they're down year over year. No surprise, right? Uh, this is lows and you know, with the housing market, you have to expect something like this. So, um, you know, it did bump the stock up here 2%, but ultimately I would not want to be sitting in a um, home improvement store stock right now, uh, unless it's a really good dividend. I wouldn't want to be sitting in the stock right now just because the housing market is uh, still very, very slow. Sales are down. Prices aren't actually plunging yet, but it's just such a big slowdown as far as sales goes. And I think prices are going to be weakening as we go into the year. Um, and we could see some big, huge thing happen where the entire banking system comes down. But aside from that, um, I still see a slow, steady decline in the housing market and not a crash. And that's going to mean home improvement stores like Home, uh, home Depot, Lowe's. Um, not a good place to be in my opinion, but please let me know what you think down in comments. What do you think about these headlines? These headlines make things sound like they're doing great. Um, better than expected, but yeah, you're looking at us down year over year. You look at these other retailers out there warning about theft and, um, you know, why are people stealing so much more now? Uh, uh, next, let's chime in on the debt ceiling situation, the house, um, the people that are supposed to approve the debt ceiling and negotiate the get debt ceiling have left town with no debt ceiling deal. So we're inching closer to that uh, warning date that the Treasury uh, warned us about. 
Um, but let's make it clear here. I don't see any catastrophe on the horizon with the debt ceiling. Um, even if there is a shutdown, they're going to shut down certain uh, operations, uh, certain government operations. They'll probably close down some parks, um, things like that. But ultimately, I think there's going to be a, uh, a deal. And if there's not, then everything collapses. No big deal. <laughs> Actually, it's going to be, uh, if, if there's no deal passed, um, it's going to be, going to be close to armageddon right i don't want to say armageddon but it's going to be very very bad uh if this no deal if the shutdown uh lasts for an extended period um if janet yellen is being honest uh people may not get their monthly um checks that many seniors need to survive so could be very very difficult and um we're likely going to see granny and grandpa breaking into Dollar Tree and stealing stuff if they don't get their check. And that's not going to be a pretty sight to see a security guard tackling an elderly person. Uh, hope it doesn't get that crazy. But, uh, but folks, please let me know what you think down in comments. Dollar Tree likely raising prices. More crime, more theft. No surprise we've been talking about it here that it's just going to continue to get worse. Uh, is it going to be the Dollar Fifty tree? What do you think about the Lowe's headline where it said better than expected, but yet it's down year over year? What do you think about these other retailers out there warning about this? Uh, pretty crazy times, folks. Thanks, everybody, for being here. Big love. Keep stacking. Bye for now.